aliens are out there or maybe not we're not sure yet but are they could they see us and if so how would they see us then, then go go let's go let's go let's go <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have definite proof of intelligent life on Earth. Unfortunately, we don't have definite proof of intelligent life outside of Earth. However, while we're looking for it, it's worth taking a look at how those aliens could find us. The first and most obvious way would be to take a high-end camera with a mega zoom and take a picture of the planet. We call those cameras telescopes on Earth, but I don't know how aliens would name them. Taking a look at a picture is like using your phone as a weapon. It's technically possible, but it's not the best use of the technology. If those aliens are genius level intelligent, they would probably develop other techniques like the one we call on Earth astrometry. To understand this method properly, we need to go back to high school physics, but just briefly. We've always been told that a planet orbits a star, but most teachers neglect to mention that the star also moves. In fact, the planet is not orbiting the star, it's orbiting their common center of mass. And the star also orbits that point. Given that most stars are way larger than planets, generally the center of mass is inside the star. And that's why, for example, we don't see the sun wobble in the sky, even though it kind of does. So given the right combination of powerful telescope, planet and star, aliens could find us out there. The only problem is that because we need a large planet around a small star, aliens are more likely to notice big planets like Jupiter or Neptune and then completely miss the Earth. Even for that, they would need to be very close to us or have a huge telescope, so it's generally better to use a completely different method altogether. I cannot speak for alien technology, but at least on Earth, it is much easier for us to detect that there is some light rather than knowing where that light is coming from. That has to do with geometrical properties, quantum physics, material science. We really don't need to go there. This principle is as simple as the camera inside your phone. We can look at a star and plot its brightness over time. When a planet comes in front of it, it would block part of its light, making it a little bit dimmer. This change in brightness is so small, we cannot see it with our naked eyes, but better aliens, either through evolution or with advanced technology, can see these changes. I mean, on Earth, we can see them with our technology. Famously, Kepler 1520b, I know, very sexy name, was discovered using this technique. However, for aliens to see Earth, they would need to be extremely patient and have a lot of luck because not only do they need to wait a whole year to repeat and validate any measurements and they need to be able to separate planets potentially overlapping they also need to be exactly in the same plane that we're orbiting the sun because if they are not in that plane then the earth will never cover the sun and it would be impossible for them to detect us unless they are as clever as our Nobel Prize winner, which is not an outrageous thing to consider. You've probably noticed that not all humans are geniuses, so it's not crazy to think that normal aliens could be much more clever than humans, much more clever than even our most intelligent humans. And if that's the case, then they are surely using the radial velocity method. This method, just like the astrometry method, looks for the wobble of a star, but instead of looking for it directly, it looks for the Doppler effect. You might know the Doppler effect from but it also works with light. Just like with sound, when an object emitting light moves towards us, its waves get compressed and we see a higher frequency. When the object moves away from us, the effect is reversed and we see a lower frequency. So if we're looking at a star that's moving closer to us, we see its light as being slightly more blue. And if it's moving away from us, we see its light as being slightly more red. We're very good at detecting these differences on Earth, so there's no reason why aliens couldn't do this. And the limitation of radial velocity method, just like the astrometry method, 
is not the physics, but our primitive human technologies. So if aliens have a more advanced civilization and therefore better technology, they should be able to find almost any planet in the galaxy. Though, as always, you have your best shot if you use every single tool at your disposal. That's what humans we do on Earth when we want to study a particular planet. We use every single method we have. As for the question of can aliens see us? Well, we know how they could find us, and if they have the technology, then yes, it's possible they have already found Earth. Can't you see? Everyone! They're here already! But just because they know Earth exists doesn't mean they know humans exist. And even if they know we exist, doesn't mean we're gonna have visitors tomorrow. There's still the big issue of traveling here. But that's a story for another day. So in the meantime, go watch this video that we did. I think you will love it. And if you enjoyed this one, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.